Recently, I was asked to test out these. These are Lytra Torch Professional Adventure Lights. Not sure what that is. I'll be honest with you, I had no idea either. In fact, when I was first asked to take a look at them, my response was, um, maybe? But now that I've had them here in the lab and out in the wild, I really like them, like a lot. They make dark outdoor adventures a no-brainer. Let me tell you a few of the reasons why I'm into these, and I'll share some of my testing footage from a nighttime run in the forest, and even a test here in the studio using them as portrait lighting. The first thing that I noticed is that they're small and extremely well constructed. They are metal and they practically feel bulletproof and they're really easy to turn on and off. And you know what? They just feel good in my hands, which just makes me want to use them more. There are a few ways to mount them. They are magnetic and that's just handy, or they have two options for tripod screw mounting here and here. Plus you get some belt clips that work extremely well. They're metal too, so I'm not worried about snapping the clip in half. There are various accessories that you can add on to help you set these lights up with an action camera to capture your nighttime adventures. I used this contraption to film. It has spots for three items. I put two lights on the sides and my favorite action camera in the middle. This is the SJ7 Star. There are several settings for light intensity. I particularly appreciate that the button is illuminated and easy to press because it's obviously dark when I'm using them. And at least a few months out of the year, I have gloves on, which makes me a little bit clumsy. And you just have to press the button to cycle through the three brightness options and also the strobe effect, which can be used in case of emergency. Of course, I just turn them both up to the highest setting, which is 800 lumens each, which by the way, is more than many car headlights. This is just me looking around, testing out the lights, seeing how much I could see. I would say that everything within about 25 feet around me got illuminated, which seems insane coming from such a small package. I've used a headlamp for years and it is good for focusing on the trail immediately in front of you, but the Lytra light helped me see the tree branches that were coming up and it just gave me a better overall sense of the objects around me, which for running is pretty nice. Though it does occur to me that I'm not sure how deeply I actually want to see into the nighttime forest. A little ignorance maybe can be bliss, but definitely from a videography perspective, scrambling down a trail at night, this is literally the difference between night and day. And I liked having the light on this rig with the camera. In the past, when I've used my headlamp to illuminate where I'm filming, not only was I limited in the amount of light I had, but I was limited to where I could look. If I turned my head, but I wanted to keep the video pointed at the trail, my lighting would go away. Having the lights on this rig with the camera freed me up to look around, but keep the scene steady, or you know, at least as steady as it could be running on the trail. Another cool feature is that they are waterproof. So if you're putting the underwater case on your action camera, you can still use these lights, no case needed. In a pool or a kayak during the summer will definitely be fun, but a guilty pleasure of mine is being the first one out on fresh snow bonus points if it's still dark and still snowing. I am excited to share video of those dark runs in the snow this winter without worrying about killing my gear. My last run like that last winter was funny because I slipped and slid backwards down an ice covered hill on my derriere <laughs> and video of that would have been priceless. Now, one other accessory that comes with these is this, a diffuser. Being a photographer, I immediately thought of the diffusers that came with my speed lights. So of course I tried these as studio lighting for some portraits here in the studio. These little diffusers did a great job of softening the light, but still allowing a ton of light to come through. So I can definitely see using these for photos while I'm out adventuring. And one last thing about these is that they are easy to charge up. They come with this little micro USB cable, just like a whole bunch of other accessories. So if you are going away for a few days and we'll be using these heavily, you might need to juice them up on the go and you can use a power bank, a solar charger, or even a wall socket. Maximum battery life for the torch is about four hours, but it'll definitely be less if you're using the brighter settings. So in a short time, I went from mm, maybe to Oh my gosh, these are tiny and they're amazing. And at least one of these will be a fixture in my hydration pack. And I know they're just lights, <laughs> but 
When you make a habit of being outdoors in the dark, you realize just how important lighting is, especially if you wanna shoot video or take photos. Okay, now for the sales pitch. With the holidays coming, if you are shopping for a photographer or an adventurer in your life, you know that we can be difficult to shop for. My parents always get frustrated with me when they ask me what I want as a gift, and I say, socks. Because those things can get expensive, and my dad can rebuild a car engine, but he can barely work the camera on his iPhone, so I don't want them anywhere near a camera store. <laughs> anyway, this is something that is an entirely new type of item, so the adventure-loving person that has everything may not have small, mountable, bright lights like these. So check out the link in the description below for the latest pricing and accessories. Remember that those are affiliate links and that means that you get the same price, but I get a teeny tiny portion of your lights purchase to help me keep the lights on here in the studio. Okay, sales pitch over. To wrap things up though, for me, these are two thumbs up. I will definitely get use out of them for my videography, but I see myself slipping one or two of these into a pocket of my jacket or my backpack to use for nighttime hiking or as a camping lamp or to just help me get set up for sunrise photography while it's still dark out. Because I like adventure, but I don't wanna mess around with my gear. I wanna charge it up, I wanna throw it in my backpack and then just be confident that it will be ready to go for me when I am out on the trails in the dark. And I don't wanna to have to be careful with it. I don't wanna worry that the battery will run down before I do. I mean, it's a light, it needs to be reliable. And not only because it just plain sucks to be in the dark forest or desert with dwindling lighting, but I need it for my job. So if I plan to film something, my gear had better keep up. And this does. So thanks for watching everyone. Let me know if you have a Lytra torch or something like it. And let me know how you use it. Dun, 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 dun,